some babies! If you watched the last video, you'll know that Stevie Nicks, uh, her ligaments were gone, but she didn't seem to be like, you know, in a lot of pain, active labor, whatever, so put her here in the kidding stall. I went inside, decided to take a bath because my back hurt, because I'm almost 40 and pregnant, and um, yeah, check the camera. I'm like, oh, she's good. She's still like hanging out, laying around. Thought I saw something under the heat lamp on the camera, but the cats sleep under the heat lamp all the time, right? Like I'm pretty sure there was a cat here when I left. I went to bed, woke up in the morning. Couldn't really see on the camera what was what was happening. And uh, you know, it was like a weird, weird lighting issue. So I'm like, all right. I'll go outside, I'll check on her. Well, sure enough, on the ground were these two totally dry little babies. They were up and moving around. They had obviously been nursing uh, based on her udder. And uh, it looked like nothing even happened in the stall. Like she cleaned up the stall perfectly. I don't know if they were born Sunday, Monday, what it was but they were totally fine. She did a great job. I don't love missing a birth because you just never know what could happen, but fortunately all was good in this case. These babies are somewhere around five, six days old, um, and uh, it's nice out today, so let's take them out in the sun. I don't love goats. I don't love goats. I was just giving Stevie a little break over the pasture with the other goats, you know, five or six days straight with your babies and no break. We'll make you a little stir crazy. So let her get out there and stretch her legs. But uh, the babies are ready for her to be back now. pretty girl. Yeah, you're a keeper, huh? You're a keeper. You're very calm. I want to take her when I grow up. We generally let our dams raise the kids unless there's something wrong that they can't. Um, and people often ask how you get friendly kids if you don't bottle feed them. This is the answer. You hold them, you play with them, you touch their feet, touch their head, get them used to you. Now, some goats will just be a little crazy because they just are, but, um, you know, if you spend time with them, they'll be nice and friendly. And do you have blue eyes, huh? So, if she's got blue eyes, wait, does he have blue eyes too? I don't know. If they both have blue eyes, Mick? I don't think Mick has blue eyes. Oh, I think we have a paternity scandal. Mick? Nope. Uh-oh. Don't eat the Christmas lights. Mick, 
you are not the father. Sounds like the father to these kids is actually Don Henley, not Mick because they both have blue eyes. Blue eyes are a dominant trait in goats and neither Mick nor Stevie <laughs> have blue eyes so they can't carry the blue eyed gene or they would both have blue eyes. Surprise! <laughs> That's actually not bad news because Cher, the doling that I kept from Honey Rider, uh, makes her sire. And so this would give us a different, different sire in the mix here. Um, and Stevie and Honey Rider are very closely related. So it's not a bad thing. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll wait and see who, uh, who Scarlet's babies were sired by. Honestly, I figured the time they got pregnant that although, yes, obviously Don could have been fertile, Mick was the much more dominant, assertive goat. Um, but yeah, so surprise! And this, folks, is why we DNA test goats when we register them. So we know who the father actually is. <laughs> Kenny, don't get any ideas. This is definitely your baby. You are not getting out of parenting a fourth child. <laughs>